Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny video. The weekly reset has gone live, which means I am once again back to tell you guys what is new in the world of Destiny this week. If you guys do find this helpful, then a like is always really appreciated, but let's get started. To begin with, your Nightfall this week is the Sunless Cell, which is of course the one where you go out and fight Darkblade, and your modifiers are as follows. You firstly have Berserk, where minions of the Darkness won't flinch even after massive damage. You then have Specialist, where special weapon damage is favoured. You also have Chaff, where player radar is disabled. And also Fresh Troops, where some enemy squads have been fortified with additional reinforcements. And Chaff is going to make things a little bit interesting when, of course, you're down on the pit and you cannot see where Darkblade is spawning. But either way, I did actually put up a guide right back in week one of the Taken King, explaining some of the key points to doing this strike as a Nightfall. So hopefully if you guys do have any trouble, then you can go and check that one out and that should help you out. But aside from that, it's not too bad. Again, as with any of these Nightfalls, just take your time and you should be fine. Of course, on top of that, once again, being a weekly reset, that now means you can complete another three heroic strikes this week and get 10 legendary marks each time. So of course, if we've just had Iron Banner, chances are you spent some legendary marks, which means you probably want to stock up. So doing three of those will net you 30 legendary marks this week. Moving on from there, taking a quick stop at the tower, of course, visiting Lord Shax. These are your weekly Crucible bounty this time around. Again, there was a question last time asking how do you unlock these if you do not have them. As a reminder, you simply need to complete the Crucible quest chain, and upon doing so, you'll unlock weekly Crucible bounties, and completing all five of them will unlock the sixth, and turning the sixth will then give you Nightfall tier rewards. Then switching things over to the Reef, these are your three Taken Wanted bounties this week, and of course that means if you need to level up your Queen's Wrath rank, then these are what you need to do. And then finally, your tier 3 Court of Oryx boss this week is Thalnok, the Fanatic of Crota, or Mini Crota as I like to call him. Again, pretty simple fight, but if you guys do have any trouble, then there is a guide on how to defeat this boss on the channel. Aside from that, that is pretty much all there is to talk about this week. Of course, Iron Banner has finished, which means we are now back to a regular week. And of course, the Refer a Friend program went live yesterday. So if you do have any friends that you want to refer and you want to know how this program works, then I'll leave a link to my video in the description box down below. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.